every device is a point of failure to the network it lives on and every network is a point of failure to the, to the services or companies it connects to from a hacker's perspective. So what we do is we turn every device into a validator node that applies our consensus mechanism under ADAPT that connects directly to the noise protocol consensus mechanism called distributed proof of security or DPOSEC that allows for every other system and service to actually qualify in real time and interrogate every other system that it belongs to and know if they can trust the processes, the services, the APIs, etc. on these systems before a critical operation is done. Right? So exponentially, it increases the level of resiliency that you have on your system. Normally, the more complexity you have in the cloud, locally, whatever, serving your Web3 infrastructure, and by the way, this is true for Web2 as well, in general, because 99.9% .9 of the world is Web2. But um, every device that you add adds to the surface of risk that you have, right? The more complexity you have also from an application and services perspective, the same story, right? So what we do is we flip this principle around. And the more complexity, the more you grow, the more devices you have, the more resiliency you have on knowing if your processes, your services, uh, everything that you're bringing forth to your users and to your third parties is actually in a secured state. And if you want, you can even use that as a differentiator in the market and show that unlike your competitors, you are in a safe state at this moment, in a provable safe state for everybody else. For regulators, obviously coming in with Dora in the European Union, there's a big part about best practice in cyber. I've had a really good conversation with the person responsible for this yesterday here in Madeira Blockchain Conference and looking forward to having more.